basically what we're going to do is we're going to install our TVS 1900 supercharger, air to liquid intercooled internal bypass. This same rotor pack that we're putting in this vehicle, you can find in the new ZL1 Camaro, all that good stuff. So factory supported, just top notch products. How long does a kit like this take to normally put on? Uh, this kit roughly Joe blow six to eight hours. If you got a buddy, you can do it in you know five to six. It's baseline at 302. 302 and 338 foot pounds. And 338 foot pounds of torque. start with manufacturer's CAD. In this case, this is the Heartbeat Supercharger housing. So we actually started with GM's actual engine model CAD, as well as their uh, engine bay CAD information we get directly from the manufacturer. And that gets us started on an idea and basic room and uh, how much uh, area we have to generally play with. And then after we get done the, doing a basic design, we like to move on to 3D printing, SLA, um, FDM, and such, and uh, take that prototype get it on a real car, see what needs to be changed, what needs to be tweaked along the way. You do have the TDS 1900 housing here unmachined. Um, once it goes through this machine, it comes out, you know, we are able to uh, machine the rotor bore, bypass opening, bypass bearings, all that cool stuff, all on this one machine. This is the first step to making our quality product. Um, if something like this is machined incorrectly, it could be catastrophic to the engine, and you know that's something that we don't want and don't ever have happen because of our quality processes. In this room is our test room. Every single supercharger that we manufacture gets tested on the test stand to make sure that the supercharger creates and can maintain the boost that we say our products can do. We have uh, pressure gauges hooked up to the fuel system and the intercooling system to make sure that the supercharger is not going to leak before we ship it out. Here we are in shipping where the superchargers actually leave our facility with all the instructions, intercoolers, reservoirs, brackets, all the way down to the lube to slide the hoses onto the fittings. It's going to come in your box so you and your buddy can install the supercharger in a day's worth of work. Here is the Saints Motorsports 2015 Tahoe with the new 5.3 liter direct injected Chevy engine. We start the supercharger installation by first disassembling the front end. The included heat exchanger secures directly to the factory core support. Vehicle specific tubing is included and routed to the intercooler, pump, and reservoir all under the hood. The goal is to keep the supercharger running at an efficient low temperature. The factory intake manifold is removed and replaced with the Magnuson TVS 1900 supercharger system. A few key parts are transferred over including gaskets, sensors, and the throttle body assembly. This 2015 Tahoe with the stock fuel system will produce an additional 100 plus horsepower safely on 5 pounds of boost. And that's good for you know anywhere between 100 to 120 rear wheel. 100 to 120 rear wheel horsepower and at 5 pounds, so now is that a, is that a, a, a safe? Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah that's a carb legal kit. So I mean literally you can install a supercharger and take it right to the smog dyno and it'll pass smog with flying colors. And then you can turn the, the, the power up, you can put different pulleys on and make more power. I yeah, mean, that's when, a you, relative, when you do that with a... the direct injection, you are going to have to upgrade the fuel system. We're finishing up a few things, filling the reservoir tank and installing the air intake system before we load the tune. This kit only took about five hours to install. Let's get this Saints Motorsports Tahoe back on the dyno and see what kind of power numbers we can put down to the ground. So on our second pull, we made 398, which is up about 95 horsepower. The air fuel's a little lean at the end, so we're going to richen that up and see what it'll do on the next pull thinking we can still break that 400 number pretty easily here so hopefully hit 405 maybe 410 so <laughs> yeah it's got the heart racing a little bit pretty exciting there thank you Magnuson Supercharger I think that STI wants somewhere there <laughs> <laughs> he don't want none of this <laughs> 